love adding warmth to my skin by applying bronzer to my cheekbones and my jawline. And recently, I've been loving... 15 Big Macs, 15 Big Macs. Just a few of YouTube's megastars. Music videos, makeup lessons, bizarre recipes. The online site contains all manner of content. Millions are watching, and today, a rare opportunity to meet some of the stars in person at North America's first YouTube Fan Fest in downtown Toronto. Our Eli Glasser joins us now from the red carpet. Eli, describe the scene there for us. I am in the midst of the madness, Andrew. This is a sea of selfies. It is the YouTube Fan Festival. Now, this is a festival that moves around the globe, but it's come here to Toronto, Canada, because Canada is kind of rising in the amount of YouTube creators it has. It's now actually third in terms of the most um, YouTube exporters. So many Canadians making their own YouTube videos and uploading them online. And so there are many celebrities the fans here are waiting for to meet, including many Canadian celebrities, YouTubers, they call them. And, you know, you look at the, the scene around me, this red carpet, and, you know, this is a generation where when they wake up in the morning, they don't flip on the television, they don't surf the uh, the dial and, and surf the channels. They follow, they look at their subscribe. They look at what's on YouTube. They look at who they're following and what videos they are. And so you get a sense of how this media consumption is changing and the fans have been talking to say they feel these people, you know, such as Humble the Poet, such as Superman, they have a personal connection with them. Even though they have millions of followers, they feel like they're part of that group. And they're screaming, so clearly they're excited to see some of the celebrities there. Tell us about that. So there's a wide range. There's a Bethany Mota. She has uh, over 8 million followers. You have Epic Mealtime, uh, the dudes from Montreal who make gluttonous, gigantic food. Uh, but let's talk about Superwoman. A lot of fans here for Superwoman who started in Mississauga, Ontario, has millions of followers now. And she had a critical decision to make at one point when she was deciding whether to pursue her master's degree in psychology or pursue fame on YouTube. And here's what she had to say. I spent thousands of dollars on tuition and now I make YouTube videos. Um, but I, when I was applying for my master's, my dad was very adamant on me getting my master's after I got my psychology degree. Um, and I remember just doing the applications being like, I don't want to do this, it doesn't feel right. So I marched into my parents' room and I was like, I'm going to make YouTube videos. And make YouTube videos she did. Lily Singh, otherwise known as Superwoman, has now millions of followers. She is traveling the globe, sharing uh, the love. But uh, she'll be here in Toronto for the Fan Fest. Andrew? All right, sounds like fun, Eli. Thanks, Eli Glasner in downtown Toronto.